people if I have my new phone, I will definitely go on YouTube and see, wow, this one is so, <laughs> this one is so, hi everyone, good evening, um, welcome to my live video, my name is Tina, on this page you are watching from is called Solution Center with Tina, um, it's just a quick one, um, but before I say anything this evening, I would like to introduce my business, as you all know, I sell woman hair, okay, I stay woman hair extension, hair wigs, and um, of course, I do um, I buy as, uh, articles from, you know, different countries, but I don't do um, China, I just do from different countries, okay, and that doesn't mean that China products are not good, they are very marvelous, it's good, but I don't have that product, because it's cheap and affordable. So I don't have it. Um, soon I know I'll be having that um, that brand also, um, that product, that's, that make, you know. So yeah, um, <clears throat> I sell articles, I sell uh, hairs, I sell abayas, I sell ganjuras. So um, I have limited, I have limited time and limited ones here that is available, but I will show you the hairs that I have, all right? So that you can see what I have on ground. So before I dive into this topic, I like, I, I'm very sure you all can see uh, the title on my video on Facebook or not on my, not on my um, YouTube page. Cause I'm just doing this for the first time on YouTube and I hope, you know, people will come and watch on YouTube too. So now that I have, um, at the other phone, I will be running um, different um, short videos on YouTube pages where I can be giving my motivational quotes and a little, a little bit of solution to uh, what I see or what I know about or how I just feel it, you know, on topics that is trending or even something that I know. Also, I will be sharing business ideas on my page so that um, so many people that have lost hope will you know will you know pick one or two things and you know starts um uh recreating themselves you know so that uh they will you know stand fit on their on their field you know or the area of specialization what you need to do and all of that we said this many times on my facebook page so if you can visit my facebook page solution center with tina that is where i usually run my shows um all the time but not every day i used to do it every day before but right now I'm kind of very busy and engage in different um, businesses. So this evening, I'm just trying to show you. Um, this evening, I came to show you hairs, and a little bit. I uh, will be talking about parents um, giving listening ear to their children. All right. So as you can see, this is uh, original woman. I don't even have to, you know, comb or brush it. This is original, original woman, 100% woman hair. So I'm just trying to excuse it so that you can see that it's gonna form, it's gonna get that um, straight, uh, straight vibe, straight uh, look. I'm kind of, really, I'm, I'm a little bit tired, but I'm just doing this. So this is um, length, uh, this is like length 20. 22. I hope I'm not making a mistake. And it comes in 300 gram. Okay, if you're someone that loves to fix full hair, all right, you can also go for 400 gram. That includes closure. Okay, so let's say for instance, the closure is um. Let's say for instance, I welcome you all. Sorry. Let's say for instance, the closure is is gonna make it like 500 gram. If you're someone that loves full hair, all right, and you stay in the hair air condition all the time. Of course, you want to fix for full hairs, all right? So I have, you know, I've given a lot of tips on how to take care of your synthetic hair, okay? I've given a lot of tips on how to take care of your synthetic hair and it's gonna look as bouncy as this if you know how to treat hair, all right? It's just, um, yeah, I mean, we can say that uh, we have original woman hair. As well as those that have synthetic hair, the important thing for you is to understand how to maintain this hair that is the important thing if you know how to maintain hair all right then you'll be able to keep your hair good and look and it's gonna look neat and you know stand out as well all right so i will show you the other the other um 
hair that I've got here. I'm gonna show you. This is these are all samples, and so if you like any of these hair that I'm showing you right now, please contact me on my Facebook page or just leave a comment and I will get back to you. All right, all my hairs are affordable, and as you all know, I can't give you price online. So if you like any of this hair, just contact me and then we can do business. <clears throat> So, I like you to invite so many people, share my posts, share my videos, you know. That way, so many people will know we are online, okay. This other one is 22. You see how long it is? So, definitely this is 20 inches. Why this is 22 inches? You can see how long it is. It is very long. It's just like 24 inches. So, it is very long. All right. So it is written there, as you can see, it is written there. This is 2.6 um, closure. It is written there, 22 inches. This is very long. You can see how long it is. Very long and beautiful, all right? You know, it's good for dark. It is it's good, also good for fair, I think. So anybody can fix all this hair that I'm showing you right now. Then I'll quickly go and show you uh, 22 inches jet color. This is pure black. This is the raining black. This is the Arabic Arab color. So if you want this Arab color, okay, this is what is trending right now. You can see how treated it is. This looks like your natural hair and it smells nice. <laughs> it looks uh, natural and it smells nice. You can see this will last you for more than 20, 25 years. All right, this will last you for more than 25 years and you can see it's not even shading. Can you see it's not shading? All right, I'm gonna comb it on this table. So I'll eventually show you, you know, the table. If I can bend the table, I will show you what it is very soft. This is Arabic color. This is how their hair looks like. I mean, if you see that we are in it, it is like this. So on this one, if you're buying shorts, um, if you're buying short, uh, short lengths, then you don't need 400 gram. You need 300 gram. But if you're buying longer lengths, you need 400 gram. Please share my video. Share this video as you come in. Thank you for joining everyone on Facebook and also those that will watch on Instagram. This is very soft. This is not your usual hair. I don't even have this particular uh, texture, you know, because it's a little bit um, high, but it's worrying because it has 25 years warranty on it. 25 years warranty. So if you like it, contact me. All right, it's quite, it's, this black one is a little bit expensive. And as you can see, I think this is 20 inches as well. And I do have 20, 20, 24 inches. I have just, as you can see, the other one is slicky, but this one is woman hair. 100%, the one I told you, 25 years and still counting. Believe me when I say that. I know what I'm saying. So if you like any of this hair, contact me. We can talk about price. Don't worry. Even if you don't, you know, buy, I know that one day you will surely understand what I sell. Or maybe if, if you happen to meet uh, face to face and you see what I sell here, you will understand that, yeah, she sells good products. So, all right, so I'm going to move to the next one because I have to be fast. I don't want to spend more than 15 minutes here, but if I do, I'm, I, I'm apologizing in advance. I'm sorry about that. Um, I just need to talk about my business and also talk about hair because this is what is trending now. And you can see, just look at it. This is real hair. My, you know, when you feel the texture, you will understand. Now, on this particular one, you don't need to add or cream anything. You can see how it is. Everything here is being, you know, booked for, but immediately you, you, uh, you know, pay your pay for one, you will definitely get one. So this is 22 inches, as you can see how beautiful it is. Okay, on my YouTube page, on my YouTube page, all right. All right, so on my YouTube page, there is no, um, uh, what is it called? Flitter. This is pure how it looks like. If you go to my YouTube page, Solution Center with Tina, you will see how I'm displaying it on my YouTube page. So this is how it is, black jet color. 
If you want the natural color, I can also get that for you. That is not a problem. I have them. All right. So if you want the jet color, of course, it's, it's you know, you will definitely get one. So this is beautiful. All you need to do is to comb it and it will come out like this. One minute. When you comb this hair, it's going to be long like this. One sec. So this is why I want today to to see a friend, and she was so you know she was so into the hair. You can see no uh, no serum on this. There is no serum on this particular hair. You can see how this color is, you know. This is how the color this particular one is, and that is why I said the other one is the, this one I just finished showing you now is jet color. All right. Um, I'll quickly show you. The rest of the thing that I have here, oh, this is blonde. This one is blonde. I love this hair. I love this hair. So this this hair, you can see. All right, <laughs> on my Instagram is giving me another color. I don't know, maybe because I'm using flitter on this one. So on the Instagram, but on my YouTube page, I cannot add any um, flitter on my YouTube page. This is how I look like today, and this is what I I am. This is who I am. So you can see this is blonde color. If you want any of this hair, contact me. You see how full it is. You can see how full it is. The textures are very, very beautiful. However, this particular one that I just finished showing you right now, the blonde one, you can, uh, you can, if you want to coil it, I have um, spray for this hair, all right? If you want to spray it, it's also fine. You can spray, you can use anything on this one. You can even swim with this particular one. You can also swim with this particular one. You can swim with all of this hair. The important thing is for you to, you know, for you to, for you to dry the hair completely and then leave it for a while. Don't wear it immediately once you swim with the hair. Okay. I'll quickly show you another one. That is, I have different colors. Okay. All right, so I have this color. All right, so yeah. So when I get to Nigeria, I have to flat on it because I, I have to, you know, put them in the bag. All right. So maybe when this gets to Africa, you just flat on it. So the moment you buy any wig or um, weaven, okay, extension from any vendor, please note that you will not be getting it exactly the way it is because some of them will just use like all oh, this one. Else. I'm just saying this now. So um, I will just quickly use my flat machine on this or just use my iron you know, the one I use for laundry, and then it's, it will go straight. Like I said, you don't have to, you don't have to, um, you don't have to um, get yourself worked up looking for flat uh, machine for all of these things. If you have, uh, if you have a flat, if you have iron for laundry, you can use this, all right? So I think this is here. I made this stuff. So if you have iron for laundry, you can use this. is so beautiful. I don't know if you can see me. If you can't see the hair, please let me know in the comment section. So the moment I show these other pages, I will be able to show the rest of the page. The rest of the page. So just let me know if you're not comfortable, you're not seeing the hair properly. Please let me know in time so I can show you. Uh, okay, so that is blonde and um, chocolate color, okay? Or you can say brown, all right? This is another color of hair. If you follow me on YouTube right now, you will see the real color of this hair, all right? And this is how it looks like. This is so beautiful, all right? This is beautiful, and all of this hair is guaranteed, okay? You don't have problem. You don't have to worry yourself. As you all know, this is a raining and trending hair, all right? So if you like any of this hair I'm showing you right now, please contact me. I will... Um, I will reply you as soon as I see your message, please. Thank you all for joining me. I appreciate all of you. Thank you for showing me love. Thank you for patronizing me. 
and thank you for those that are asking prices and not buying i you know i thank you i i also do appreciate you thank you for even asking so if you're not buying i don't have problem with that <laughs> i don't have that is love yeah even if you're not buying you don't have to do that before i appreciate you okay thank you all i do appreciate everyone that comes on my page every day so this is already a week this is a week this is very cheap very very cheap when i mean very cheap this week is cheap so once you get this particular one i'm about, I'm about to show you is a week you can uh you can um take it to the salon so that um so that they can you know shape it properly for you to the size you want this is a very short hair and it's very very affordable when i mean it's affordable affordable is very cheap so this is a week if you want this week just let me know all right this is a week a week cap okay this is what i'm going to use to sing um, tony braston today i have one of these so i'm going to sing tony braston today on my instagram <laughs> All right, so you see how it is. This is not how it's gonna be when you take it to the salon for your stylist to to fix it properly for you. So I think I'm not wearing this stuff properly. Okay, so this is it. Okay. So for that, if you want that, we contact me. It is very, very, very cheap. It is very, very cheap. That's not expensive. This is not an expensive week. So contact me so that I can give you a good price for all of this um, wig and um, oh, this color is good. What color are you talking about? Uh, where is the other one? I have another wig here. Okay. This is a nice wig. This is your daily wig. Very good texture, very soft and sleek. This is slicky, but not very, very slicky, but very soft and slicky. You know what I mean? Because if you do slicky on this one, it will go straight immediately. It, the coil will go off. You understand what I mean? So this is very slicky. This is very beautiful. If you don't want anyone to see your front hair, this is what you should be fixing immediately. Contact me, and I also do have closure and um, fronter, 360 fronter. They are all here, and um, I've showed you what I have here at the moment. I wish I can show you more, and then we can dive in. So, if you want, just let me know what closure you want or what um, fronter. Hi, good evening, everyone. Welcome to my live video. Thank you for joining me now. Like I said, I don't want to spend more than more than uh, 15 minutes i don't know how many minutes i've spent here today all right so um i'll quickly dive into today uh topic so today's topic is parents always give listening ear to your children give room for discussion especially when they are when they turn teen so so when they turn teenager yeah um, it is important for you to give them listening ear and have a good conversation with your children all right you must understand that children growing up from the age of um, six months up to um, up to seven seven I mean I'm not from six months up to two years and some of these two years old children can speak but not very clearly you know what I mean however they do understand they might not even know how to communicate with you as their mom but they understand every step that you take especially when you are very when you are when you are I mean depressed or you're not feeling very, very okay. Your kids can read the sign in between. You know what I mean? So now, the there is this video I saw going around on social media. Um, like I said, this uh, uh, page is drama free and whatever we see on social media, we can as well talk about it and then give solution to it. All right, so I saw this video and the little girl was talking about how horrible the father is. And I mean, from the beginning, she told that the, the father is that is, the, the stepfather is um, her just stepfather. Never knew that the father is her father. So she was really talking about them in a very, um, in a very erratic way. And when I come across this video, 
I stumbled on this video, I was I reflected on it, I was thinking in my brain, what is going on? You see, a lot of women out there, they want to have children, but they are not ready to sacrifice for their children. A lot of women have their own marriage, but they don't even understand what marriage is all about, okay? Marriage is not about, marriage is not about flaunting your man or showing off or telling people everything is, you know, rosary in your house. So you need to understand what you are going. I've said this time at number on my page and I would like so many mothers to give me their listening ear because, you know, we intend to have this communication with our children most. We intend to have this tie between mother and, you know, daughter or son, you know, so I'll, um, if I can get attention, I'll, I love it. Or if I can get love reaction on this video, I love it. Some women, when they give birth to children, I understand that in between, without help of maybe a mother-in-law or sister-in-law or even their own sister, okay, they will not be able to do things, do things because it is their first child. We, I understand that totally because I also was in that um, position, you know. But you also need to understand that if you are going to have children or conceive, you're planning to conceive or start bearing children, okay, you must be fit to do that, first of all. And you must ready to sacrifice. Now, the, the things about sacrifice in this whole thing that I keep saying all the time is you must be ready to kind of, you know, take a break from your work. Okay. And your daily activities, you need to take full break from them so you can focus and concentrate on your child. All right. If you don't do that from when they are babies, you may find it difficult to do that when they are adults because you feel it's, it's numb which is so wrong for some parents, right? We we need to, you know, give full attention to our children. You see parents breastfeeding their children, but because they don't have that relaxed mind, because they are not, you know, having that full time they are supposed to have, you will see that their breast milk will not, you know, pump out because the breast milk needs relaxation. You know what I mean? So if you don't have that real relaxation as a mother, you will not have a lot of breast milk to feed your, your son or your daughter or your child. This is because you don't have that time. You're always at work trying to pump out the breast milk. You are, so if you are under stress, there is no way you can have that coming up, right? You just have the normal one, but the main one will not come up. You will not even have time to eat. You understand? I've said this before on this page. Uh, with the moment you have the, 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 the child come into the world, that is the day you start uh, focusing on your children, on your child. Focusing on your child, full focusing, you know what I mean? And you start looking at every minute, you start. You need to start uh, looking at your child. In, that is a full-time job. So if you are walking outside and you leave your child with someone that don't even understand the behavior or how your child operates, you are going you are, you are to start having problems with your child. I mean, the, the, your child will start burning with someone that, I mean, I, I'm not saying they are strangers, but that particular helper at that moment. So we need to understand what it is to be a mother. To be a mother, it is not by saying it in with your mouth or by showing off. To be a mother is about you sacrificing, full sacrificing for your child. If you are a single mother, I under, totally understand with you and I'm not against that. It is not gonna be easy for you to work and take care of the children, I mean child, you know what I mean. So, but you need that time. That's why it is, you know, because you, you call for it. So you should be ready for it, all right? So, um, yeah, now, moving forward, um, once the child is two years old, and probably the child is, is now, you know, in kindergarten or nursery school, okay, so there are things that they will be teaching them in that stage, on that, in that stage. So that stage will be them learning how to share toys, share things, share anything with their, uh, with their classmates, you know what I mean? So... The, the the school will then start teaching your, your kids this and you have to also do the same at home immediately your kids come back from school we we'll teach them how to do all of those things that their you know teachers are teaching them in the school now from that stage you move to another stage from that it's just like you keep going on and on now once that child is in his or her maybe 10 11 years there is another stage okay there is another step that the child will start you know bringing up at home all right all you need to do is to see what is going on with your child why is he behaving like this see how you can have good conversation with your child at the time I, I have to play some jokes with my son 
you know, I crack him up sometimes. I say, oh, you don't even have this. Oh, you don't have this. You don't. Who is your best friend in class? Who is this? You know, I like to ask all of those things. It's very important for you to always do that once your child is schooling. It is very important. And I have said this time at number. I like teasing my kids. You know, I love it. Sometimes my daughter will tell me, oh, mom, I don't have friends. You know, I don't have friends. And, you know, she's just a little girl. She doesn't understand. Well, but I do ask all of these questions all the time now. The moment your child calls and say, Mom, I will not see you, I advise you as a mother to immediately turn your neck, your body, your full self, to make sure that you start speaking to your child immediately. For your child to call on your attention to say, I want to speak to you, Mommy. If you don't give your child that attention, then something, something is going to be wrong. You know, I, I don't advise children 15 years old to start having, to start dating because... They don't even understand what the thing is all about. You know what I mean. So, but if it happens that you have a child that is, you know, quickly or fastly or too exposed, it is good as a mother for you to come close to that your child. Let her understand the consequence of what she will face if she is going into all of those things. You understand? I know that some children are very stubborn. They will not listen to their mom. But there are, there are ways that you can talk to your children and they will listen to you. It is not easy. Do not allow anyone to deceive you that upbringing, bringing up children or child is easy. It is not easy. But you have to make it easy by paying attention to your child, by asking questions, by having that communication with her, by also calling all the time on the phone to make sure that you know where uh, he or she is at every particular uh, moment or time. You know. So what am I saying now? What I'm saying is, once your child says she want to talk to you, no matter how upset she, she has, you know, lead you to or lead you to, you must always listen to her, him, whenever they want to come. Because once they make that mistake, they realize, okay, I have a mom. And if you as a mom is not there or dad is not there to, to give listening ear, that child will go outside and start doing what others are doing. He or she is going to think it's not a thing to do. After all, you know, this person is doing it and is working out fine. Meanwhile, it is totally wrong. But because there is no mother figure or parent in between, it's, the, 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 the child is going to, you know, assume that, okay, I can do this and I will get away with it. You see some mothers, they are on social media 24 hours. They are not doing business. They are not doing anything. They are just on social media. They want to watch every step. Let me tell you something. Social media is all is is i mean social media is all full of lies so many people what they portray outside is not who they are you know they just want to show you what you want to see and that is why you need limit time if you are not doing business on social media you don't have you don't do talk show you don't do it there is no point for you to of course you can come on social media when we have like we are doing this discussion you can come there and drop your comments all right but not staying on social media 24 hours and Instead of you to pay full attention to your to your to your daughter or your son, you 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 you're there paying attention to something that will not benefit you. You're not going to benefit anything from. You know what I mean? If social media is paying you, you must also have time for your children or your child. Children comes on with a lot of assignments, assessments, and you as a mother are not there. How do you even want to teach her about relationship, leadership, communication? friendship you know also teach her betrayers how do you want to how do you want to teach your teenagers because that is the first stage preparation to get to maybe 18 19 and all of that you need to let them know this you also need to let your child know what they call fear of god you need to own you need to make them understand all of these things some parents don't even teach their children the way of god i understand that that you not all child but you need to make them understand why they don't have to do all of these things it is evil and not good for a child to do one, two, three, four. You will understand and agree with me that the moment you start teaching them from get go, they will have that mentality to say, you know what? I don't want to make my mommy upset. I don't want to make them, uh, my mommy angry, my parents angry. I love my mom. I will do everything to make my mom happy. This should be singing in their brain all the time. This should be what your child, you know, will be saying outside the house and inside the house to so say, mom, are you happy? Do you want me to do this? Okay, how do you want me to say it? You know, I am confused, mommy. I just don't want to talk to him. You know, let that your daughter, your children speak to you as a parent. 
you as a parent will then know what to do now. If you as a parent don't know the answer to give to your child immediately, she's coming up with a story about her love life or something, I advise you to leave it immediately and see how you can come up again after two, excuse me, after two days or three days, see how you can come up with a good uh, advice as a mother. You know, you can also share your experience. It's not, it's not, it's not, there's nothing. You can share your experience with your daughter. You can share your experience with your son, just so they understand how life is. You know what I mean? So that doesn't mean that they will, they have to follow your step, okay? They also have their, their ways of doing things. They have their way of, you know, keeping themselves. But you must also be fully involved in that way. If that way is not something that should be, you know, it's good for you to, 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 to correct the child with love. I know some children are stubborn. They will not even want to listen. But bet me, they will want to listen to you at the end of the day because they will then start saying that thing that you're saying. It's always good for children to make, to make mistakes. Don't get me wrong. But when you're not there and they've been, you know, they, you know, abuse them, you know what I mean, growing up and they, lo they lost their virginity and all of that, it is, it, is, it is so wrong if they do that at early stage. Because once they do that at early stage and you're not there as a mother, to, you know, to correct them to say, I mean, this should never happen. How did you do it? You know, you shouldn't have done this. How do we go about it? It is good for you to see a therapist that can also, you know, bring your child back to you. All right. If you don't do that, you see your child living a wayward life that you never bargained for. And then this is where your questions start coming. Why did I even bring this girl or this child to, the, to life? Why did I even suffer to go and start looking everywhere just because I want to have children? I want to have kids. This is where your thoughts will change as a mother. Do not say this kind of words, okay? This generation right now, they are quite different from the way it used to be, all right? Just keep, you know, keep to yourself and keep encouraging them. Make sure you are there. Don't give up. Don't say, oh, it is your business. You can do what you like. You own your life. And then the child at the age of 18 or, I know, 18 years in Western world, their, their, their parents kick their children out, but not all of them, you know what I mean? So you must still always be there because the moment she make mistake, she's coming back to you because the mom and dad is still in much living. It's coming back to you. Like me, I get very, very emotional very fast when my kids are doing something that I don't like and I cannot control them due to where we are right now. There are things that you cannot even do, tell, say to your children, but they can tell you everything and everything because they are children. And it is your own, it is your right to correct them when they are saying things they are not meant to say. So what am I saying here today? What I'm saying here today is, if you are into your daughter's life, okay, there are things that will never happen. Why? Because there is warning before. So whatever he or she want to do, the child, the children will then remember what their parents have told them. They listen to us, don't get it wrong. The kids love their mom, they love their dad so much that they even listen to us. So um, your presentation or the way you present things to them, it's what matters. I understand that kids can also make you go gaga, like can make you go shouting and lose control of everything. But as a mom, you still have to come back to yourself, keep yourself together so that you'll be able to continue, you know, giving advice to these children. Once your daughter call you, call your attention once, please don't waste time. Try to see how you can quickly help that child. It is very, very important for your child to get help. If you don't know what to do, go and meet specialists as a mother. If you don't know what to do, quickly, quickly, quickly see specialists so that they can tell you what to do and how to go about. There are people that study this and they are very professional in this field. All right. They will know what to do and tell you how you can go about it. Gradually, it's 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 not something that you know. It's not something that will just come up and it will just happen immediately. It is something that will take step by step time. All right, and things will fall in places again. Otherwise, you see your children coming on social media saying something that you've never heard, even you as a mother never heard in your own entire life, and that is because you were not there. And some people will tell you, "I try my best. I try my best." If you have that child yourself, if you had carried that pregnancy for nine months, okay, as a mother, all right, I'm referring this to, to mothers because it is mainly like our job, you know, if you have, you know, carried, you know, conceived that child, all right, for a period of time, okay, you should be able to talk to your child. 
there are ways you can talk to children. Talking to children, you know, being um, aggressive, you know, shout, yell, yell on children will never solve no problem. It will even help the children to leave the house at the age of 14, 13, even at the age of, you know, 15. They will leave on time and tell you, I've had enough. I want to live on my own. I want to live a free life. Because they don't even understand what free life is. They think if they want to go out, it's easy for them to go out. All right, you see a lot of these kids, they will tell you they can work and get money. Why not? You know? So, I mean, that mentality, it is not good. Kids, children should not be exposed to things that are not relevant. Once they are exposed to things that are not relevant, forget it. It's going to take a little bit of time for you to recall that child but if you have patience of course they may have rethink now you see a child 14 15 16 years old telling you at this age that child should be in school secondary school or so yeah the child should be in secondary school and the child will tell you i'm a dropout proudly saying this after you spend a lot of money you know to do all of this thing the child will say Oh my woman, if it's coming on social media to say all of these things on social media. And then you will be so surprised to hear your child speaking. Some can even say, my mom is there. My mom is no more living. In the mother, people that knows her will say, that's a lie, she's lying. Something is wrong. Something is not right with that child when she's saying, making that sentence, I mean, saying, sorry, making that uh, statement. Someone that knows you very closely will call your attention to you to say, what's going on here? I saw your child, I saw your, child, uh, your daughter, I saw your son saying all of these things on social media. Like I said, whoever you do on social media lives here forever. So whoever your child is, you know, portraying today will affect her in future. And that is why you must pay attention, full attention to your children. They deserve it. That is your job as parents. Both father and mother needs all of this. If you don't do that, well, you're going to see the results. You don't want to see your child on, on social media coming out to say, I'm this and that. I'm not, I mean, it's, this is a very serious, very sensitive um, issue. Because I see a lot of this. Some of them will come on you know, TikTok to say things that when you see you like, why, 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 is, why, is, why is she saying this? This is very worried. Why is she saying it? She should not be saying this. He should not be saying this. So a lot of these children feel, feel like, okay, once they are 16 years old, they should be very, very free. And they will tell you, I'm an adult. I can decide. I should be able to decide. Once they finish deciding and something has come up, okay, after decision, they will still run to their parents. Of course, they cannot run to government. There are little that government can do. But they will come to the parents. And it will backfire on you. As a parent so keep them together show them love if you if you are you know bringing two two of your children three of your children do not show love to one of them and leave the rest of the children it is important for you as a parent to show full love okay to all your children the same equal love the love should be equal and should be shown to them the kids needs love they need someone that they will call mom. They need someone that they will call dad. Like I said, there, there, there is one day on this page, I I was saying I was saying something about mothers, and it happens to be uh, Mother's Day. I'm saying not all mothers. If you watch my video, I know what I'm saying when I come on social media. Not all mothers knows what they call uh, children bearing. Bringing children to the world, of course, they are very professional for that. But taking care of that child, children, no, they don't know how to do it. They only know about themselves. You know, they only know about themselves. They only, um, they only show love to themselves. If they go to the to the marketplace or to the mall to get things for themselves, they just, you know, get it for only themselves. And we should not be doing that as a mother. Your kids come first. I can wear anything, anything. But my children, I don't joke with my kids. And I believe that all mothers should be doing the same. Regardless, even if you're stressed out, you're depressed, 
Your child, your children should be what you should be looking up to. That love should never, never be divided. Do not say, I don't like this, my thoughts born, my thought child, she's this, he's this, he's too horrible. No, don't say that. Bring them together, teach them love, what they call love. They need to love each other. They need to stand by each other. You as a parent need to come together and work with your kids. So I was saying that on Mother's Day, some mothers are not worthy to count as model. I have said this before, and this doesn't look like, because I've seen a lot of things, you know, goes on, goes too wrong, very, very wrong. You will see a mother to even wash her, uh, to even wash, even pay that, that, to wash her children clothes is difficult. No timing for the children. They don't even know when to give breakfast, what to give during breakfast, lunch or dinner. They don't know what to do. Some mothers even feed their child maybe once or twice a day. When I mean once or twice a day, it is even a leftover food. You should not be doing that as a mom. And some of them will bring it on social media for you to even see. Are you bringing that on social media so I can say you're a powerful mommy, you're a good mommy, you're a strong mother? When I see that what you're feeding your child is something that your child should not be eating in the first place, no matter how poor you are, no matter how poor you are, your child, your children should not be eating, eating poorly. You try as much as you can as a mom. I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell you so many stories and how I started this business, how I was able to grow from where I am to where I am today. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you need to try your possible best to make sure that things work out for, for you. You understand? Bringing your child on social media, feeding your child very poorly. Is on this social media, I saw a lady feeding her child rice at six months. Excuse me. Not six years, six months. I was like, what is going on here? Six months, he's eating spaghetti. And the mother will come out tomorrow and say, this is not like the mother is poor. No, it has nothing to do with, she, she's not financially okay, no. This is who she is. She doesn't even understand what they call children, child bearing. And this child is not even her first child. I was like, what's going on here? I thought maybe initially she is, you know, depressed or something is wrong with her. So in it, I, th this is my initial thought. So following her, I was watching her. I said, no, I think she's doing this intentionally. I've, I have children. I'm not one million older than her. We are of the same age range. But when I see her do things on social media, I look at her, I was, I'm like, this cannot be true. This is, I think this is just a storm on social media. This cannot be true. I mean, we should have that time for our children. It's very important. No matter what, it is important. If you can, you know, bring out your time and make that, you know, food, in thing, food things, you know, maybe Cerelac and all of that. You can come up with your own idea. Get containers and get it set. When it's time for your child to eat, make sure they eat at the right time so that they will look very, you know, nourished. You understand? So some parents don't even have time for their children. Why some parents have full time for their children? I give kudos to those parents. The ones that know what they call parents. My kids are sleeping and that's why I can come online. I would have come online, um, you know, long, long ago, but I can't because they are playing. I have to respect them. It is their time. Once it's eight o'clock, of course, they will, they will then go to bed. Now I can spend the rest of my I can spend the rest of hours on my page because they are sleeping and they are cool. You know what I mean? So that is what it is. That is how it should look like. That is what it should look like. Half time. Don't be a mother, mouth mother. Yeah, I'm a mom of five. I'm a mom of two. I suffer so hard to take care of my children. This is how they say it. I suffer to bring them. You saw that I was pushing it on live video. You said, no, please. You can push that your child out and you're not a good mother. You can do whatever, bring them to the world and you're not a good mother. The next person close to you or your auntie, your sister would be a very good mother. I am not perfect, but I know what mother is. 
I know timing to feed my children. I know what to do, how to make them look good, look beautiful, the little way I can. Some people cannot, even though they have everything they want on this world, in this world, they still cannot take care of their children. They still cannot look after the children. They are not capable to do all of those things. They do not want to sacrifice. They don't want it. They just want to, you know, put on their trousers, look good back, and start coming on social media and paint their face and all of that, fix their nails. That is not murder. That is not what they call murder. Coming on social media to show us that you're a mother is not murder. All right? So um, give your child a good listening here. Show your child love. Love. I'm coming back maybe tomorrow or any other time I have time because I'll be in the market tomorrow. I don't think I'll have time. But any other day, I will come up and talk about this. Show them full love. Show them full love. Make sure you listen to what they want to say once they are teenagers. It is very important to listen. Maybe somebody bully your child in school and your child is trying to talk to you as a mom. Because you're not giving her or him listening here, he doesn't know what to do. Then you will go silent and this person will continue to bully your child in school because your child, your, your child tried to speak to you about it. I know some parents, like my husband, he will just tell my, my son, walk away. But there are things that you know, you see your child, you know, doing or bringing home, you will, you will want to trace and see where is this coming from. I want to know. That doesn't mean you're a harsh mom. That means that you don't want to have problem when they are teenagers. If you don't control them now, when they are one year, two years, three years, four years, five years, you will never be able to control them anymore. You know what I mean? Show them love. Bring them together. Show them, teach them what love is. You know what I mean? They need to love even outside the home. Bring them up. Their upbringing matters. If you bring your child up in a very good way as a parent, okay, once he gets to 15 years old, whatever anyone says outside doesn't count, doesn't matter. Your child will tell, the, tell her friend or his friend to say, you know, my mom, everything that he's going to be saying is my mom or she's going to be saying is my mom. And when people outside or, I mean, students see a child like that, they will come up to say, he loves talking about his mom a lot. Why? Because the upbringing, upbringing is purely good. You make your child to understand why he should also show his mom a lot. Why he should always listen to his mom, teachers, and guidance, not just you alone. If your child refuses to listen to you, at least he or she can listen to teachers in school, in which is very important. Pay attention to them once you notice something that is wrong. You know, crack jokes with them. You know what I mean? And give them that. That's that, that, that attention that they want. That alone will put a smile on their face. I know at times you want to be left alone. Like sometimes I want to be left alone. They go meet their, parent, their dad. Yeah. You want to be left alone because you want to focus. I have so many things going on in my head right now as I speak. But at the same time, I just come back. When I'm back from my business and they want to disturb me, I just say, how are you? Have you eaten? What did you do today? Oh, so you didn't even, I will crack a little bit joke and say, okay, go, mommy, want to rest now. Go in. Do you have anything to tell me? No. Okay, that's it. I'll let them go enjoy themselves. When they are teenagers, they always feel they are adults, full adults, grown adults. They can decide, they can do what they want. In the Western world, this is how the kids believe. But in Africa, they, you know, even 30 something years, 40 years old, still live under their parents. We don't believe in that. Because we don't believe in kicking kids out. If you do that, whatever happens outside or whatever shame he brings or she brings home, it's going to be on you as parents. But in the Western world, it's not going to be on the parents. It's going to be on that child, you know? Because you feel that you've tried your possible best. But your best is not enough. You need to continue to make sure that you bring them together. You show her love. You show him love. You listen to what he or she has to say. tell you. Maybe somebody in school has even threatened him.
But because you're not there, that's it. Please, it's important so that we know what is going on with our children or bringing. So that we know what happens behind our, our back. You know? So if it happens that somebody comes to abuse them, the child will tell you, oh, mommy, this is what happened to me today. I've been abused. The child will tell you confidently. And then you can take it up. You can take the case up, regardless who that person is. Take the case up. And teach that person the lesson that that person will never forget. Take the case up to the to, to the right authority. Don't take law into your hands. Take the case right to the authority. It is not something that anybody wants to hear. It's an ear saw. You know, like when you have chicken pox inside your ear. That is how it looks like. Then you have what they call mandarin headache. So you don't want to even listen to such thing. You don't want something to, such to happen to your child. If you are a good parent, if you are a good mother, you don't want something like that to even come up because you as a mother has no idea about how that works. That child will be traumatized for the rest of her life. Traumatized for the rest of her life. The moment she flashed back to what and how they abuse her or him, they say, it's a big problem. So if, uh, please, let's try as much as we can to always, you know, to always, um, you know, show concern to our children. It's important. It is very, very necessary and important that we do that all the time, you know. Whatever you do to your child today, that is how your child will live forever. Okay, on this note, I will, um, I'm so happy. And please patronize me, you know. I will be glad to see more of you. And yeah, let me quickly read comments and we'll call it a day. So on Facebook, I can see someone saying that... Um, Okay, let me read the first comment. The first comment is such a brilliant. Uh, thank you. Oh, I like that. Okay. So well, this color is fine. What color? Please let me know. I will reply all your comments um, immediately. I'm done on this Facebook um, live video. All right. So I'll go to the next question. If you have any question, please leave it on the comment section so that we can have a very good interactive one before I leave. Children at the age, children at three years onward question their parent now. Yes, of course. Of course. Sorry. Yes, of course they do. They question you, they ask you question. Why did you do this? Where are you coming from? Why is your leg like this? You know, children are so exposed at school and media. Uh, okay, children are so exposed at school and media are questioning parents and with their answers ready to talk back. Okay, be close to your children. Be close to your children and motivate them. That's a good one. Um, children are, okay, I've read this already. Oh. Okay, so I have someone here that is, you know, begging for stuff. God will help you. So, parents have to put effort in, in. Parents think that children don't need attention. They do need full attention. They need full attention, please. They need full attention. Parents, we parents must remember school have our children longer than parents do school mode and influence our children so much of course but they still have to go to school so you that is why you as a parent okay you as an individual okay needs to work on your child needs to have time discussion time discussion time story time you know this kind of thing let's talk what did you do in school this weekend you know tease them tease them like i saw you with someone Oh, that mom, can you just stop? That's not me. That's not me. You know, they will live with you until they, they, they decide to move or get married. Okay? If you don't, you know, play with your child, if you don't learn how to communicate with your child, if you don't learn how to have good discussion, standard discussion with your children, this is what is going to happen. This will definitely happen. You know, so once they are 13 years old, they will tell you I'm an adult. How do how do you, how do they even say it in British? I'm an adult. I'm an adult. I can decide. I can you know. I can do this now. I'm I'm an adult. I'm big. I you know, mom. You know. So it's good we always put our eyes on our children and do the necessary thing as parents. Thank you all for joining me today. Patronize me and support your girl.
anytime, any day. My number is on my page. All right. So you can leave your comment. You can leave your, you know, you can leave comments. You can leave your comments on the comment section. Once I go through the video again, I will see your comment and then I will reply. Thank you for my new customers and my new followers. I appreciate you all and I love you. Follow me on Ta Hair Fashion and Beauty on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and of course on YouTube. All right. So follow me on that page massively. Invite so many people so that they can see uh, a lot of uh, fashion, hairs, and many more. All right. Thank you all for joining me today. I wish you a very lovely Saturday and have a great day. Bye for now. Bye. So I'll start from my YouTube. Bye, YouTubers. Yes. <laughs>